I must have been getting pinpointed on this one. Whatever Tone wants to think, Tone thinks, you know. What's up guys, I'm Austin Matthews. I'm Jake Muzzin. I'm Alex Kerfoot. Mark Giordano. I'm Mitch Murner. Hey, I'm John Tavares. I'm Morgan Riley, and I'm gonna be calling some of my teammates out. <laughs> Teammate who only listens to Big Booty Mix. Well, Buds plays our music in before the game, and all he does is play Big Booty Mix, so. <laughs> I do get the boys going with this. I'm gonna say TJ. He always tells me right before, when I, like, I do the music, right after I play two touch, he's always telling me to get the mix on. So I think he might like it just as much as I do. Teammate who has the coolest house. Hmm. John just bought a nice new place. Johnny's pad in Muskoka, and I'll go with that one. And I've been to his house here, which is really nice as well. Mitchie's house is pretty cool, and he has you know most of the team parties. So he's got a great setup. I go with my buddy, Jake. Because I got the putting green. The bunker has turned into uh, where you build sandcastles and stuff now. It's nice to go over there sometimes. He bit himself too. Did he? <laughs> that is so cocky. I'm gonna talk to him about that. Teammate who uses the most hair products. <laughs> We've got a couple guys. Oh, this has gotta be this guy. His hair in this picture just says it all, no? Even though it's the ironing and everything, so. Peter's got nice hair, so I don't blame him. Bunce has got a lot of gel in his hair, too. I'm gonna go with Austin on this one. Just like on the ice, he's always prepared, he's looking good, he's not afraid of a photo shoot, and he's, he's gotta be styled up for those, so I'm gonna go with Austin. Teammate most active in a group chat. This guy just doesn't stop talking. Bunce was right. I'm definitely the most active. Mitch usually gets the party going, whether it's a chirp or a movie quote. He just can't get enough of the fellas. He loves being active, he loves stirring the pot. I keep everyone on their toes in that chat. I keep it lively. Teammates is the worst at fantasy football. <laughs> There's a couple in there. Johnny doesn't even really qualify because he's absentee owner. He doesn't even create his lineup. My team's projected to win after the draft this year. I don't know what everyone's talking about. <laughs> Since we've just started and this guy's 0-2. He claims to be the fantasy guru. And he's 0-2. For the amount of effort that I put into fantasy football, I'm the worst at fantasy football. But I still think that this guy has a worse track record than me. You can really take advantage of him when you get those, uh, those matchups. Or via trade too, which can be nice. He's got no idea. This guy tried to offer me a trade yesterday, actually. That was outrageous. One of the worst in the history. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. 0-2 to start. These two are terrible. Both of them. Well, I'm just going to pick on Mitchie some more because I know he thinks his team's the best. So whether his team's the worst, I'm not sure, but he actually beat me this week. Teammate most likely to leave the table before the bill comes. There's only one person that comes to my mind. It's our guy right here. This guy. Gio, he always seems to get away with murder. He's out of there early. Sorry, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's an inside joke to that for sure. Yeah, I was gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I wish I could have been there to witness it. <laughs> Michael Bunting. He's sneaky like this, and he's never seen a bill that he likes to pay, so. He'll pull an excuse out too. Both two cheap guys. Two cheap guys that get out of the bills. Kerf would leave. He'd say, I gotta go to the bathroom now. No, I'm gonna try and pick one of the guys who picked me. Did I get it? Yeah. I'm picking you because I know you picked me, Muzzy. He's only done it once. And it wasn't because he was scared to pay, it was for other reasons. It's kind of a sarcastic one, he pays for everything. Teammate with the most unique equipment alterations. Where is Jason Spezza when you need him? This guy is sneaky in that category, Muzz. He's always doing something different to his skates. He doesn't even tie his skates. I would, I think that's just weird. I'm, I tie mine really tight, his or he just, he can slip them on and off. He's got really good ankle flexion. He's not one that I think a ton of people would pick or know about, but he's, uh, he's always up to something. God, he looks tough there. David Camp, because he's the one guy on our team who doesn't actually use tape. He uses some weird adhesive, I guess. He's a little bit older. The older guys have been around, so they know uh, the places that they get hit mostly, especially him blocking shots like that. He's probably got a few shutters on the side of his legs and stuff like that. But I know Poppy loves to, love, just loves to try and tinker with stuff. Spence rubbed off on Tone quite a bit, so now he's in there quite a bit, I'd say. Maybe we could all learn a little bit from him. He's obviously done some cool stuff with his skates and his sticks, and I think that's uh, been great for the game. And cool to see his personality and some of that stuff, so. He scores a lot of goals. I'm a little picky with stuff, so. The equipment guys are great, though. They take good care of me, so I feel pretty lucky, but I'm definitely uh, probably a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with sometimes. Whatever he wants to do, he can just keep on doing it. Teammate that makes you laugh without even trying. But I, 
I think actually Gio would, would fit this. Pretty self-explanatory when you just look at his headshots. Sometimes he's pretty funny, he doesn't even know it. DJ Brody, he's got a theory for everything and he, he keeps a straight face, which is the best part. He's, uh, he's a pretty funny guy, but I can't tell sometimes if he's trying to be or whether he's just a wing nut. Teammate who calls people out the most. That's our guy, Mitch. Yeah, I'd say Mitchy for sure. He don't let anything slide. He'll call you out mostly about like random stuff, golf and you know, fantasy football. He's not afraid to open his mouth. Let's just stick with the trend, I guess. I'll give it to myself again. Teammate who rewatches plays on the iPad the most. Well, the guy that, that did, I think retired. He's in management now, so I gotta see. Kerf should have his own iPad. Every shift looking at it. Yeah, I'll give it to myself. I don't know whether it's good or bad, but. Yeah, that's probably a bad habit. Teammate that the coach likes best. I'm gonna go with this guy. How can you not like him, right? That, that's an easy one, I just gotta find him. His son is right in the room with us right now. Go slow-mo for like effect. <sighs> they got the same birthday. You played junior, right, for Kiefer? I did, yeah. He did, yeah. Quite the relationship, those two, so. It's a love-hate, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna say Footy. Footy played every position last year, so. I gotta go Camford. Great guy, very responsible on the ice. He comes to work every single day, works his butt off, and he's a machine. You know, and if I was a coach, I'd probably like that guy the best, too. You've scored that many goals, the coach must like you, so. <laughs> he can do no wrong. No, he plays right. Teammate that still talks about their junior career, this is the easiest one ever. Only one guy on this team. Mitch Marner, ladies and gentlemen. We don't go too many days in the locker room without hearing about how the London Knights won the OHL championship. All those London guys can't cut the cord uh, about their junior career, so. Hey, Bunts. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do two. The OHL is like a cult, and they like follow it, talk about it, like I've never seen before. Like he goes back to Bantam and Midget, I feel like. I would love to talk about my junior career. <laughs> Him and Spez, the Ontario guys, are always worse than the Western League guys. Spez liked to go all the way back because he was in the 90s, so that was always fun. I must have been getting pinpointed on this one. This is all I talk about. He still goes back to London all the time. He must have won a member or something. Just ask him, he'll tell you. Uh, winning a Memorial Cup. Teammate who chats with the other team the most. I feel like I got picked for this one too, didn't I? I mean, Bunce could be that one too, but not in a nice way. <laughs> yeah, he's always chirping. He trash talks a lot. Ah, yeah, that might make sense. He's not gonna be happy about that, but I'd have to go with Mitchy. He's not afraid to cut a couple deals out there. That means like I'm trying to like be friends with someone so I don't get hit, but <laughs> whatever Tone wants to think, Tone thinks, you know. Playing his role, I, I'm sure he has to get into, you know, a conversation or two with the other team quite often. I don't shut up, so this guy. I don't think too many people like me either, so. He's always shooting the with someone. I have to give it to Legless here from uh, Lord of the Rings. Got a lot of Swedish buddies on other teams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he look like it? Well, yeah, it's right on, no? You pull up a photo of Legless and put it next to Teammate most likely to complain about their EA NHL rating. Well, Bunce is always melting off, so. Uh, as long as I hit 80, I'm happy. I'd have to go with this guy, honestly. <laughs> Biggest complainer on the team. Complains about pretty much everything, so he's definitely gonna complain about his EA rating. I mean, I agree. It's probably not high enough, too, so. Teammate you go to for TV recommendations. Where's Mo at? He's usually pretty dialed. Little Baby documentary. If anyone wants to watch a good documentary, that's a good one. I actually got that from Maddie, so he'll be pissed about that. I'm gonna say John. Started watching Game of Thrones and then I stopped. And then he told me to start watching it again and I finished it and I thought it was like unreal. So thanks to John, I, I finished Game of Thrones. Teammate who takes the longest to get out of their gear. That's probably me, to be honest. Kerf loves hanging around in the room after. I guess he just loves being sweaty. I mean, I'm up for this one too. I'm usually sitting in the locker room for a good amount of time, but I've only been around this guy for a few days and he's sitting next to me. So maybe I've just been like keeping him in his gear. Adam Gaudet takes a, a sneaky long time to get out of his gear. Probably me or Muzz. I ain't quick getting my gear off. Yeah, Muzz is a little bit slow to get out of his gear. He's a bigger guy, so I think he's a little tired sometimes. They got lots of gear. Teammate with the most Taylor Swift songs in their playlist. Oh God. Well, it ain't Big Booty Mix over there. I feel like Mo. I'm gonna say Mo. I could see Mo 
listen to Taylor Swift on the drive. Gotta go with Cheddar, big Taylor Swift guy, always has been. Pierre Engvall, he seems like a big Taylor Swift guy. I always see him with headphones on and I'm always picturing him listening to Taylor Swift music by himself, so. I wanna say Mitch, he's got a few Taylor Swift songs in, on his list. I don't know, this one might be a stretch, but like, I could see it. We'll never know, but I could just see it. Teammate with the weirdest pregame routine. Both guys, goalies are always weirdos. I think they know that. I don't think I'm too off base here. I've heard some stories. He's got a weird one. I don't think I have anything weird, but who knows? I don't know if weird is the right way, but he's dialed in for sure. <laughs> Our buddy here, Mr. William Nylander. He comes and gets dressed five minutes before we go for warm up, and that gives me anxiety, but he has no problem doing it. Just don't see that too often. No, I just come in like last minute and get dressed and people are like, what? Like, I get dressed in like, I don't know, three minutes and they're like all sitting there like, are you gonna make it all out of the ice on time or whatever? But I hate just sitting around, you know? So like I'm, I'm playing like keep up or whatever, two touch or whatever, yeah. uh, juggling the soccer ball. But um, yeah, that's usually probably why I'm, I'm late a little bit. <laughs> Obviously it works. <laughs>